leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, has given more details of how he was kidnapped in Kenya, tortured for eight days and handed over to Nigerian security operatives. He gave the details to his special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, who visited him in a DSS detention center in Abuja. Ejimako, who spoke with the BBC Ibo, said Kano was held in Komnikado and chained to bare floor for eight days in a nondescript private facility in Kenya. I met with His Excellency today for nearly three hours. He greeted you all. He is in high spirit despite the tribulations. He is looking forward to overcoming this tend rendition sooner than later. He requests that there should be no disunity, that the family must remain focused. Ejimako said Kano was blindfolded and flown to Abuja on a private jet on Sunday, June 27, 2021, from Jumo Kenyatta International Airport, Nairobi, as the only passenger on board. He said, during his meeting with the IPOB leader, Kano revealed he was driven to the airport Takmak and very close to the plane without passing through immigration. The people that adopted him said that they were told by this, you know, by their sponsors that Kanu was a Nigerian terrorist linked to the Islamic terrorist in Kenya, presumably Al Shabaab. But after several days, when they discovered his true identity, they tended to treat him less badly. Despite that, they told him they felt committed to hand him over to those that hired them. Ejimako said. He said no warrant of arrest was provided. Kanu was in point of fact tortured and subjected to untold cruel and inhuman treatments in Kenya. He said his adopters disclosed to him that they adopted him at the behest of Nigerian government. He was blindfolded and driven to Tamak very close to the plane without passing through the airport immigration. The plane departed Nairobi at about 12 p.m. and arrived at Abuja in the evening. Kano was flown to Abuja in a private jet on Sunday, 27 June 2021 from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Nairobi, and that he was the lone passenger, he said. Ejimako said Kanu was interviewed for the first time by three DSS operatives in his presence. The interview was revealing as it contained certain new allegations that were never heard of before, but all the questions relate directly or indirectly to his status as the leader of IPOB. I observed that despite what he was passed in a passing through presently, he was in high spirit and looked forward to overcoming the extraordinary rendition that brought him to Nigeria. In my assessment of how the case now stands, I wag her that before any court can subject Kano to trial for any offenses, it has to first conduct a trial within trial on the grievous incident that forced him to leave Nigeria and equally grievous incident that forced him back to Nigeria, he said. No court of law, conscience and equity will overlook those two incidents and proceed to trial, Ejimako said. Ejimako also said in an under interview that he delivered two forms of Mr. Kano during the visit on Wednesday. One of the forms was from the High British Commission and the other was from a law firm in London. Bandman's Kano is also a British citizen. The form will open a whole new chapter of legality 
including the felling of a right of mandamus against the Nigerian government in the UK court to compel it to produce Kano because its detention is illegal under the British law. It was an extraordinary rendition which is an internal crime, you know, international crime, pardon, by which a state kidnaps a suspect or a fugitive without the due process of law, the lawyer told Punch. They will be filling all these processes in the UK and there is a prospect of a UK court assuming universal jurisdiction or extra territorial jurisdiction and reaching into Kenya so that they can arrest every Kenyan official, either authorized or not, and every Nigerian official involved in this case. Mr. Ijimako said the DSS collected the forms saying they must first go through the venting of its you know of its legal unit. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this that we have heard? We have heard about the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and Nadikanu who has given more details of how he was kidnapped in Kenya, how he was tortured for eight days, and how he was handed over to the Nigerian security operatives. According to what we've heard in the news, he was not, you know, arrested the proper way. He was rather kidnapped. What is your thought about this? And even after all these tortures, after all these, you know, tribulations confronting him, he is still in high spirit despite the tribulation. According to the details given by the special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, who visited him in a DSS detention center in Abuja. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to drop your thought and reaction by the conversation on this that has been said. I'd like to see your own point of view concerning this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Guests here reacted to what is happening presently and said, Inam Dikanu is just an innocent man suffering for the people. He's the Jesus Christ of the Southeastern people. They should all be worshipping him and at this time they should all rally around him to support him in this present situation. What is your thought about this that guests have said? He said, Inam Dikanu is the Jesus Christ for the Southern, you know, the Southeastern people because he has come and he is suffering for them. These people should rally around him and support him and make sure he gets out of that detention safe and sound, healed and hearty. What is your thought about this? I would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction. We can see that even despite the tribulation confronting him, he is still you know, strong and not losing focus according to a special counsel. I would like you also to drop your thoughts in reaction by the conversation on this present situation. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.